Uh, so today, um, I want to talk about some recent experiences I had that brought to mind the rock tumbler analogy that we use here a lot. Uh, we often say that living in monastic community is like uh, rocks in a rock tumbler. So I, of course, Googled what a rock tumbler is, because I don't know. <laughs> but it's a small machine that turns a barrel round and round, nonstop, for weeks at a time. Inside the barrel are rocks, water, and grit. The grit is what makes the rock smooth and acts as the sand that nature uses to smooth and polish rocks. So the idea is that we're all like rocks in a rock tumbler and our rough edges are smoothed um, as we interact with each other, with the results being that our rough edges are smoothed over and we end up being like beautiful polished stones. So I've been thinking about my experience as a, a rock in a rock tumbler, because um, there's a lot of them. <laughs> There's a lot of them. So um, I came to the Abbey in uh, 2008, and one of the first things I was taught to do was uh, offer water bowls in the meditation hall. And so um, the first day I went in there before me uh, morning meditation, I uh, was offering the water bowls, and there was a kata on the uh, base of the Buddha because we had a, a geshe here in that week, and uh, when he came, he offered a kata to the Buddha statue, and um, so it had been there for a while, and so I took it down, folded it up, and then uh, put water in the bowls. Then uh, somebody came in, and they started yelling at me, because <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> you don't take those down. <laughs> so what is that? That's rock tumbler. Hmm? So. That was an interesting one because I had made a promise to myself some years back that I wouldn't be around people who yelled at me. <laughs> That's very silly, isn't it? <laughs> but boy, you know, it was that was my promise to myself. So uh, I was upset. So I talked to Vinaba Children and told her, you know, what happened. And I said, I can't tolerate this. And she said, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, at that point, I had a decision. I could change my mind or change my address. <laughs> uh, so thankfully, I trusted her. And actually, it was helpful what she said, because um, that kind of encouragement she saw something in me that I didn't see in myself, and so um, I went along with it. And I'm glad I did, because I'm still here, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> the second one that I remember um, way back when was another thing that I was uh, to do was to clean Venable's uh, cabin. At that time, she lived in the writing studio, this one room, uh, very bare bones, no running water, compost toilet place that she stayed for so many years. I don't know, many, many years. How many? 13 years, yeah. Um, anyhow, so I was cleaning it. And after I cleaned it, I got the uh, 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 feedback that um, I didn't clean well because I didn't get a ladder and clean the fans up on the ceiling. <laughs> So again, rock tumbler. <laughs> so for this one, I made myself miserable for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and then some more weeks. I didn't really talk about it to anybody or tell anybody anything, um, but I felt I was mad at myself. I felt like the people didn't understand me. I felt like I was around a lot of enemies. Um, I was questioning again what I was doing here. And so at that time, that's when I got this phrase in my mind that I said to myself every day, there are no enemies here. There are no enemies here. I said that again and again and again and again and again and then some more. So that was helpful. Now let's fast forward to this month. <laughs> <laughs> 
so <laughs> I was in the office and there were two other folks in there and uh, we were talking about the photos that are in the hallway here of uh, all the all the residents and um, we just put another one up and um, one of the people in the room said um, when I have some time I want to take down all of those photos and color correct them and reprint them now guess who all those photos were uh, uh, made by and printed from? Me. <laughs> so rock tumbler, you know? But here's the interesting thing. When that person said that, I didn't have a big, huge reaction. My thought was, yeah, you could probably do a much better job than I did. You know, it's like, please, go to it. So that was a big change, and it happened very quickly. I didn't even have to put any energy into it. So that was good to see, actually. Um, so my mind is transforming. That's, that's what this tells me. Here's another one. Um, a venerable children was talking to somebody about cleaning the abbey, um, and she said that the bathroom in Ananda was always a mess, the upstairs one. Guess who's responsible for cleaning that? <laughs> it would be me. <laughs> but again, I didn't have a big, you know, uh, about it. What's the truth of the matter? Sometimes that bathroom is very clean. Sometimes it's a mess. <laughs> That's what happens. So, you know, I do the best I can. So I didn't, you know, get all whipped up about it. So again, very helpful. So really, I was thinking about, you know, all those weeks throughout the years that I kept myself in misery about what people, somebody said, or, you know, how they criticized me, or what I thought was criticism. Um, that was very painful, and on one hand, it wasted a lot of time. Uh, but on the other hand, it taught me so much about my mind, so much, that I wouldn't have learned any other way, I don't think. Huh? So um, here are some of the things uh, that I learned. I saw how any problem I experienced, I believe, was the fault of others, which of course isn't true. I understood what my unrealistic expe expectations of others were. I saw I was hung up on authority figures. I saw my arrogance, and I saw how I distanced myself from others due to feeling not good enough and feeling shame. All of these were very, very helpful for me. Um, because as the years went on, I would work on these and turn my mind and get clear about what actually was going on and had less suffering, had more space in my mind to uh, think about helping others. Um, so it was very beneficial, very beneficial. So whenever we find ourselves in the rock tumbler, we always have the choice uh, to take our reactions onto the path. And as Geshe Tech Tech Chalk uh, taught in transforming adversity into joy and courage. We always have the opportunity to work with whatever is, you know, stewing in our mind and figure out a way to look at it with a Dharma heart, to um, uh, look at the big picture, to look at the all the causes and conditions that create something, to remember about karma. So many different things that we can put to all of these different situations so that we can get a realistic view of what's going on. Um, so may we continue to transform our hearts to progress on this infallible path and reach Buddhahood as quickly as possible so that we can really start to benefit others in the most excellent way. <laughs>